Good day to my fellow students. Welcome back to Mr. Lee Physics class. Ladies and gentlemen, today we will go to the lesson of for the uh, geometric optics, thin lens, the thin lens, and we will discuss all about the lenses. The aim of the study today is to study the formation of image by thin lens. Lesson objective. In this lesson, students are able to derive the lens formula of 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to 1 over f. Objective number two. Students are able to derive the lens maker's formula. That's 1 over f equal to bracket n minus 1 times with bracket 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2. Next, use the lens of formula and, uh, and lastly, use the lens formula. Assume period knowledge. Students should be familiar with refraction of light at the curved surface and students also should be familiar with drawing the ray diagram. Introduction. Let's look at the diagram. In our daily life, there are a lot of the optical device that use the lenses. So from here, we can notice that, okay, for the spec, spec, for the microscope, camera, and also the telescope, all of them are using different type of lenses. Here, we have six diagram. Three of them are convex lens. Three of them are concave lens. Or we can say that three of them are converging lens and three of them are diverging lens. So look at the first diagram. The first diagram, this the shape will be the converging lens. And the next one will be also the converging lens. And this will be converging lens as well. So this one we call, uh, and the next one, this will be the diverging lens, diverging lens, and diverging lens. This we call that is the uh, or we said that this will be three converging lens because both sides are equal. This will be three concave or we said that three concave diverging lens. Okay, so this will be three concave converging lens. This one will be plano convex lens. And this one will be plano concave. Just one side is curved, one side is plane. Both sides are curved. This one, we said that this will be plano this we said that this is uh sorry this we call that is the con uh sorry this one we call that is the convex converging lens this one will be concave converging okay so this means that the shape okay so from here we look at the beam okay the beam of the light show that if the beam pass through the converging lens, all of them will focus to a point where this is focus, where the focus will be at the other side of the converging lens or convex lens. And if they, they are diverging lens, the light will focus in front of the diverging lens where the focal point will be in front of the concave lens.
Next slide. Next slide. Uh, okay, so in this lesson, we will learn and derive the thin lens equation. That's one over u plus one over v equal to one over f. And to derive the lens maker equation, where one over f equal to n minus one times with one over r one minus one over r two. That is alternative one. Alternative two. 1 over f equal to n minus 1 times 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2. That is alternative 2. And to use the length, thin lens formula, thin lens equation, or to use the lens maker's equation. Let's look at the convex lens. The convex lens is formed by both sides formed by a a uh, convex surface, a curved surface. Where from the curved surface, okay, this is the this is the surface number one. Where the radius, this will be the distance of the radius for the surface number one. For the surface number two, this will be radius for the surface number two. Equation for the spherical refracting surface n1 over u plus n2 over v equal to n2 minus n1 over r, where the difference of the reflective index is obtained by subtracting the smaller value of n from the larger value. Therefore, it's written as n2 minus n1. It will be n2 minus n1 or n1 minus n2, depend on of which one is greater. The greater one will be at the left side, the greater n minus the smaller n. For the first reflecting surface, we notice that according to the formula n1 over u plus n2 over v1, n1, n1 over u plus with the n2 over the dis distance of the image form v1 is equal to n2 minus n1, n2 minus n1, okay, n2 minus n1 over r. So this image, okay, is this image formed by the first uh, con, uh, first curved surface. For the second reflecting surface, for the second reflecting surface, this side. So this means that the image will form somewhere v. So from here, we notice that how we get the second one. n2 by using the n2, okay, n1, n1, the inside will be the n2, okay. So the lens n2 over v1 plus n1 over v, n1 over v will be equal to n2 minus n1 over r. The object is virtual, where this first object is here, which after reflecting, reflect after reflection, after the phenomena of reflection, after reflecting by the surface one, reflected by the surface one, the image will form somewhere here. The image become the object by the second curved surface. So this means that the object now actually is the image of the real object here. The image of the object which reflection by the curved surface or first reflecting surface. So we said that the object is virtual by the second reflecting surface. So the object is virtual, so we use the negative V1. Negative V1 over N2, okay? Plus with N1 over V, N1 over V, Okay, then use N2 minus N1 depensation is greater. Okay, R is the radius for the R of the reflecting surface 2. So from here, by adding the two formula, by adding the two formula which form by the first reflecting surface and the second reflecting surface. First, uh, con, uh, first 
curve surface and the second curve surface, we found that N1 over U plus N1 over V equal to N2 minus N1 times with 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Rearrange, we get that 1 over U plus 1 over V equal to N2 over N1 minus 1. That means these two divide by N1, N1, N1 divided by N1 divided by N1 equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. From the convex lens, where we know that when the object is at far distance of infinity, the image will form at the f. So we substitute into the formula, we found that 1 over infinity plus with 1 over f equal to blanket n2 over n1 minus 1 times with blanket 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 where we arrange it will be 1 over f equal to n2 over n1 minus 1 times with 1 over r1 plus r1 over r2 combining the first equation and the second equation we notice that this n2 over n1 minus 1 times with 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 actually is equal to this part where we can set that 1 over u plus 1 over v is equal to 1 over f. Okay, so this one show that, okay, this show that the image, the final image form will be somewhere here. Okay. The sign conversion. Always remember object distance u is positive for the real object, u negative for virtual object. So image distance positive for the real image, v negative for the virtual image. For the focal length of f, f positive is for the converging lens or convex lens, f negative for the diverging lens or we said that is the con Calf lens. As a conclusion, we, we can conclude that the thin lens formula is derived from n1 over u plus n2 over v, where equal to n2 minus n1 over r for the two reflecting surface of lens. So this formula will be equal to the formula of the reflection by the curved surface. Next, thin lens. The thin lens formula relates to object distance u, the image distance v, and the focal length f, where it's given by 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to 1 over f. This will be the lens formula. And summary, always remember that object distance u positive for real object, negative for virtual object. Image distance v positive for real image, v negative for virtual image. f positive for converging lens and f negative for diverging lens. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the convex lens or the converging lens. The parallel light ray from, okay, are parallel, the parallel light ray after passing through the convex lens and it will reflect it to a point of focus where the reflective index of the lens is n, the focal point is f, and the focal length will be smaller f. By using the formula, 1 over f equal to n2 over n1 minus 1 times is 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2. Where the light is from the a to the convex lens. 
Reflective index for A, N1 is equal to 1. N2 is equal to N, which is N, which N is higher than the N is higher than the A. Reflective index of A. Where we use the lens maker equation 1 over F equal to N minus 1 times 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Let's look at these two formula. Actually, they are equal. This one, we use it when there are two reflecting surfaces. Okay, two, uh, two, uh, two region with difference reflecting, reflecting index where it's not involved in A. Maybe water and lens. So we use this formula. If any re, any lens with A, because A is one, anything divided by one still, okay, and divided by one. So this means that if one of them involved in A, the region is A, so directly we can use this formula. Else we can use this formula. For, for place F, we use this formula, 1 over F equal to 1, sorry, 1 over F equal to N2 over N1 minus 1 times with 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Always remember the radius of curvature R1 and R2 if positive for the convex to the medium of smaller reflective index, where negative is the concave to the medium of, ref, uh, of smaller reflecting index. Okay, no matter how positive is convex, which is smaller reflective index. Okay, and negative R1, R2 will be negative if there is concave surface. Okay, which medium is uh, of the smaller reflective index. So for the, if R1 and R2, okay, for the convex medium, but with higher reflective index, it will be negative. Okay, so for the focal length F, F positive for the converging lens or convex lens, and F negative for the diverging lens. Example one. Let's look at the lens. If the lens A, let's say the lens A, which is which n is equal to 1.5. Okay, 1.5 and A, A is equal to 1. Okay, the reflective index of A is 1. Reflective index of lens is 1.5. Where we found that both sides are with the same curvature. So this means both with 20 cm, 20 cm, 20 cm. So we get that the f is equal to, okay, 1 over f, the f is equal to 20 cm. How about another lens? Another lens which is thinner. Thinner lens with the reflective index 1.65. If, if, if the reflective, uh, sorry, if the focal length form is also 20 cm. Meanwhile, the R1 and R2 will be different because the curvature is, uh, the curvature compared to the lens A, which is greater. As a result, we found that the reflective index of the lens B will be higher than the reflective index of the lens A, which the focal lengths are equal. If the difference normally, if they met by the same material, 
if both of them with the same reflective index lens b which is thinner with greater radius of the curvature which it will have longer focal length normally in this situation lens a and lens b are made of different material we can conclude that both of them are made of different material that's why the f or the lens a and focal length of the lens b are equal so what are the difference the difference are reflective index because both of them are made of difference of material let's look at the second example if there is a diverging lens in a the focal length is 120 cm where we notice that the r1 is positive 30 r1 the convex surface which the ref, uh, reflective index is lower so this means it's positive for the r2 the second convex surface where the reflecting index is higher so that will be negative for n grass the grass reflective index n2 is equal to 1.5 and this one now n1 is 1.33 of water this means that if we put this lens into the water what will happen once we put in a the f is 120 but in the water we can set that we notice that the focal length from the calculation the focal length increase once we put the same lens into the water summary the lens maker formula is equal to one over f equal to n minus one times with one over r1 plus our uh, sorry one over r1 minus n over r2 or alternatively one over f equal to one n minus one one over r1 plus one over r2 where the n is the reflective index of the material of lens and r1 r2 are the radi radius of curvature of the lens surface so from here we go to the next slide okay if we place an object in front where it the distance object distance is 1.5 m and the image form is 3 m so what will happen when we plot the graph u plus v and u we found that okay this will be 4f the point where it is okay changing so it will be 4f and the distance of u is 2f okay so next okay when the object is placed further than f that means double of the f so we get the image r with the same size what will happen if the image move nearer in between f and c the image become bigger okay so magnify when the object is placed at f the image will form at the infinity okay we can't see a new we can't see a focused image because the image is very far and one is nearer we notice that the image is virtual we can see the image is upright and magnified 
but the image form is virtual. So from here, we can conclude that for the focal length of 10 cm, an upright image is virtual. And since height of the image is four, okay, equal to four, this means that one, two, three, four. This means that image distance V will be negative four U. So use the length formula, one over U plus one over V. We substitute the information above into the formula, we get that U is equal to 7.5. That means 7.5 cm. Okay. Next, conjugate points. So we notice that when there is an object, this will be the object plus. So we notice that they, they are the distance show that you show that the object distance and the V show that the image distance. No matter how we notice that once you, okay, the object actually this one, okay, okay, we look at this side first. When the object plus U equal to 24 cm, the V is 48 cm. Okay, so this means total up both sides for at 48 plus 24, it will be 72 cm. So no matter where I move, the image always form. Okay, so when once we add up the U and V, 43 plus 20, 29. So it will be 72 as well. Okay. Now we notice that if 20 V is 20 CM, U is 52. Total up will be 72 as well. This is the distance to form the real image. If the virtual image, we notice that, okay, no matter how we calculate, the U is 9 cm, that means V is equal to 63 cm, okay, where is virtual image form, no image form on the screen. That means that once we move until we notice that the image form, that means that the Object distance is around 9 cm. Sorry, the focal length is around 9 cm. Okay, so next. Another example if the if we move the distance we will notice that the image form okay will become bigger when the image distance become longer okay so that means we once we we put at any okay we move the slide okay we move the slide until Okay, let's say we choose, okay, uh, seven, 70 cm, that's me at in a bit, 33. Okay, so this means that, okay, this is 70 cm, no matter how, way I move, okay, the lens nearer to the object, the image will become bigger. Okay, once the, okay, the lens is nearer to the screen, the image form will become smaller because the object distance is longer. Okay, the distance, the total amount of U plus V always constant of 70 to form the image. For a diverging lens, the light Ray are diverge where the image will form in front of the concave 
lengths. The image will form in between the object and the concave lens. As a result, we notice that the object distance, the object distance will be positive, and the image distance will be negative because the image form is virtual. Substitute into the thin lens equation. We get that 1 over u plus 1 over b equal to 1 over f. So u is at TCM positive because it's real object. This image form is virtual image. So as a result, we get that f is negative at TCM. The focal length of at TCM means one negative so that it is concave lens or diverging lens. Let's look at the combination of lenses, which the lens combined by a convex lens and a concave lens. If the light ray object for the first convex lens, converging lens, F the focal length, let's say the focal length is equal to 10 cm. Object plus at 30 cm. 10 cm, 20 cm, 30 cm. Object is 30 cm from the convex lens. Once we calculate, the image form will be 15 cm. Image form by the convex lens is 15 cm. This is the, okay, this will be the image. And for the diverging lens, the object, the image formed by the con converging lens become the object for the concave lens. That means that this object for the concave lens is virtual. So the yield, the yield distance of the object but for the concave lens is 10 cm only. 10 cm, 15 minus 40. So this means that consider the object is the U is 15 cm, sorry, 15 cm. This means we found that it's 15 cm. The image formed by the first convex lens, the image form is 15 cm somewhere here. Okay, 15 cm. 15 cm, this means that object distance, object distance for the concave lens is 5 cm only. Where it is virtual because this object, this object form, this sorry, this image form become the object for the concave lens. Where it's not a real object, it's just an image. So it is a virtual object. By using a formula 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to 1 over f, we notice that. 1 over V equal to 1 over F. F is 10 cm because it is diverging lens negative. Minus 1 over U, minus 1 over U because the object is virtual. At the end, we get it is 10 cm. 10 cm is positive. 10 cm means well at the same side with the virtual object. So this means that the distance will be 10 cm from the concave lens. That means the final image will form at the distance of 10 cm from the concave lens. For the next, if the object formed by the convex lens become the, the if the image formed by the convex lens become the virtual object for the diverging lens, at the end, the light ray become parallel. If parallel, we solve the uh, this question by reverse method. We solve the diverging lens first. 
because 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to 1 over f. 1 over v, 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 v is infinity because parallel. As a result, the, we get that the u is negative 10 cm, means that it is a virtual object. Negative 10 cm, that means the object will be 10 cm from the convert, uh, diverging lens. As so we can found we can find that u is 20 cm. So 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to 1 over f. So we count, we use Okay, let's look at here. Once the image distance is 20 cm from the converging lens. So this means 1 over f equals 10 cm, 1 over v. This is v. It sh this should be v. Okay. This should be v. Okay, not u. V, sorry. Okay, so the V equal to 20 cm. So V equal to 20 cm, we substitute in, we get that U is equal to 20 cm. Okay, V e uh, U equal to 20 cm, that means 1, 10 cm, 20 cm. Okay, so this means that this is, okay, for the reverse, okay, reverse method. Then, Next, if the object is nearer, that means that the image formed by the convex lens is longer. So that means use the first method, find the converging lens first, the image form. Image form, okay, U is equal to 15 cm. Object is 15 cm from the converging lens. So V, we want to find out the V and F equal to 10 cm. So by using the lens formula, 1 over U plus 1 over V equal to 1 over F, we get that V equal to 30 cm. V equal to the 30 cm, that means from the 30 cm, 10 cm, 20 cm, 30 cm. The image formed by the convex lens become the virtual object for the diverging length of the distance 20 cm. So u equal to negative 20 cm and then we calculate, okay, substitute into the formula 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to 1 over f, where 1 over f negative f, f is negative 10. So we notice that it will be we find that V is equal to negative 20 cm, that means the other side 20 cm. That means that the final image form is 20 cm from the second or from the second lens or from the diverging lens. This is how we solve the problems which involve the two convex and concave lens where they put side by side or put in a near distance. As a conclusion, we can set that the thin lens equation is 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to 1 over f. For a converging lens of focal length f, the minimum distance between the real object and its real image is 4 f. When the object distance is less than the focal length, the image formed by a converging lens is virtual, upright, and magnified. Conjugate points, when an object is placed at one of the conjugate points, a real image is formed at the other end at and at the other end, vice versa. The image of a real object formed by a diverging lens is virtual, upright, and diminished.
ladies and gentlemen, let's conclude the whole lesson for today. The thin lens formula is derived from n1 over u plus n2 over v, where it is equal to n2 minus n1 over r for the two reflecting surface of lenses. The thin lens formula relates the object distance u, the image distance v, and the focal length f, where it is given by 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to 1 over f. The real is positive sign conversion for, okay, for the object distance, u, positive for real object, negative for virtual object. Image distance, v, positive for real image, and negative for virtual image. For the focal length f, positive for converging lens, and negative for diverging lens. The lens maker's formula, 1 over f equal to n minus 1 times with 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 alternative 1. 1 over f equal to n minus 1, 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 for alternative 2, where n equal to reflective index of material of the lens. And r1 and r2 are the radii of curvature of the lens surface. The real is positive for the R1 and R2 just only for the convex to the medium of smaller reflective index. R1 and R2 are negative for concave to the medium of smaller reflective index. Focal length F is positive for converging lens and negative for the diverging lens. When the lens is in the medium of reflective index N1, its focal length is given by the formula 1 over F equal to bracket N2 over N1 minus 1 times wave bracket 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 where N2 is the reflective index of the material of the lens. The thin lens equation, 1 over U plus 1 over V equal to 1 over F. And for a converging lens of focal length F, the minimum distance between the real object and its real image is 4F. When the object distance is less than the focal length, the image formed by a converging lens is virtual, upright and magnified. For the conjugate points, when an object is placed at one of the conjugate points, the real image is formed at the, at the other and vice versa. The image of a real object formed by a diverging lens is virtual, upright and diminished. When the lens is in the medium of reflective index N1, the focal length is given by the formula 1 over f equal to in bracket n2 over n1 minus 1 times wave in bracket 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2, where n2 is the reflective index of the material of the lens. So that's all for the lesson. This is the question for the thin lens. Question number one and question number two. Question number three and question number four.
question number five and question number six. Question number seven and question number eight. Question number eight. Question number nine and question number 10. This is the suggested answer for the question number one. Question number two. Answer for question number three. Answer for question number four, number five, and number six, and also number seven.
answer for question number eight. Answer for question number nine. Answer for question number 10. That's all for today's lesson. Hope you enjoy my lesson and we continue again on next lesson. Thank you very much and see you.